Hey everyone, Ms. Schlarman here. And today we're gonna to talk about how to draw a flag. So what is a flag? A, fa a flag is just fabric. And that's what we're really working on is learning how to draw the curves and the bends of fabric. So this is the American flag. Just FYI, a couple things you wanna know about is there's 50 stars. Um, and then there's the red and white stripes. There are seven red and six white. You start with the red, you end with the red. I messed up right here. Did you see that? I had too many. I should have stopped right there. Oops. Anyhow, if you redo and do the American flag, keep that in mind. The 13 for the 13 original colonies. And of course the stars represent the 50 states. Okay. So, and then of course I added in a background. It's up in the sky kind of thing with the clouds and the sunset coming in. What you're going to do is you're going to uh, create a flag. Does your flag have to be American? No, it does not. But of course, we do love America. So if you would like to learn how to draw the American flag, go for it. But if you want to be uh, completely a little bit different, you can draw maybe the flag to a pirate ship. I don't know. So that's up to you. The first thing I like to do to create that wave is to draw the wave. Okay, that's all I did was I did a wave. Then from that, it's going to come down and it's going to be parallel. So it has to match the bend. So what I like to do is if this is slanted, this is going to be slanted. This is going to be slanted. This is going to be slanted. It looks like I went off the page there. I'm making a big flag. Okay. So here from that, I do see from the angle that I'm going to see the inside. So this goes straight down. Notice all of these are at the same angle. Okay. Now, when you draw the bottom part, it's got to match this. So it needs to match. It needs to be parallel. So this is curving. This needs to curve. This is curved. This needs to curve. And then it curves up. Do you see that? I kind of, I kind of went shoop, shoop. Okay. So shoop. It does do a little curve right there, doesn't it? So I'll, I'll get that. Okay, fixing up those little details. And then, of course, this one is right here. Okay, and then I like to always have a little bend here. All right. Then you got to think, do you want grommets in it? Grommets are those little metal tabs, you know, to, to secure it. So depending on what kind of flag you're making, maybe you've got grommets in it. And then from there, is it on a pole? Is it on the top of a sword? Is it on top of, I mean, like what, what kind of thing? Maybe this is like on a castle. So it's got more of like a, uh, one of these kind of poles coming out, more of that castle kind of look. Ooh, yeah, maybe I do have it on a castle. And then I've got like the castle wall behind it. You know, is it, it's kind of, oh, maybe I should have made it on a, Oh, I like a cylinder. Oh, remember the last lesson when we talked about cylinders? I'm going to put that cylinder, which would actually be like the top of the thing. So then I'm going to put in this, and I don't know if you remember us talking about lines before, and we talked about castle lines, and I basically set it up to where I have parallel lines to go through it. I'm going to do that. I know my brain gets distracted because I just start going with a different direction a lot. And then they got the stones here and the shadow. Okay, moving on. I'm going to take a Sharpie so you can see again. So what I did was I first went and I first thing I did was I drew the wave of the flag. That's my first start. And then from there, you have to add in the rest of it. So this is going to go one way and they're all lined up, they're parallel. And then of course, if this is looking down kind of, cause we're at almost like a bird's eye view here. And then this has to match. This one matches this. This has to match this. And you wanna think about proportions too. Like this should be the same size as here and here, unless your flag is tapering and it's triangular, which sometimes castles look like that. Okay, so then I've got this here and I have my grommets in there, right? And I forgot to do my my ties. I I like to do tassels. I just love tassels. They make they make me smile. So it's going to come around here. You don't see it through that side of the pole. And then you got with a tassel gathered. And then I add in the tassels. Here's my decorative castle 
pole that it's on, which is also a cylinder. For those of you who remember last, last lesson. All right, so now here, I'm gonna do that castle wall I kind of put in. I've got this uh, tower, Rapunzel's tower maybe. Okay, and then it comes down, which is also a cylinder that we learned from last time, creates that, that look in there. And then this of course is shadowed. This is where the archers would go to defend the castle. All right, so maybe then I would also put in some shadow and stuff over on this side and add in that detail, right? And then maybe I have a bird flying by. Maybe I've got, maybe I do have a, like a whole castle. Maybe I've got a dragon. Oh yeah, I could put a dragon in behind it, kind of make that kind of look cool. Add in a dragon to my castle tower and flag. Maybe I have a pirate ship. Oh, that'd be awesome. Maybe I'm going to put flags on my pirate ship. Um, maybe um, I could put a flag. You've got all different kinds of flags all over that are decorative and kind of fun. So get creative with your design, whether it be uh, horizontal in layout or vertical in layout. What I'm looking for is that you know how to create a fabric bend and the illusion of a flowing and that it is parallel and they all match. All right, I can't wait to see your flag designs. Get creative, think about the background and really go for it. I can't wait to see them. Bye. I just love time lapse and fast motion videos. So here is my recording when I was drawing the American flag. Remember that when you're creating that wave on the flag, your lines need to be parallel. You need to think of your viewpoint. If it's a bird's eye view, you're looking kind of down onto that flag. Also think about the entire composition, the background. What is the flag on? All right, you've got this. Go work. Bye.